As you guys can see, a new armor set just dropped in the Assassin's Creed store. Today, we're going to be going over everything in this armor pack, including the weapons and armor set itself to let you guys know if it's worth your money or if you should just wait until some of the items appear in the free Opal store that exists within the game. I've already done a video about that and also reviewed all the other armor sets linked down below in the description if you want to check them out. But for now, let's take a look at the Einherger armor set. So as you guys can see, the armor set itself looks pretty good, though I don't know what's wrong with all the clipping in it. Um, I wouldn't really expect that from something you're paying for. I've got my graphics on max settings, so I assume that's some form of bug. But right now, it does look really bad on screen. But as for the aesthetics of the armor set, after they fix that, it actually is quite a traditional looking Viking armor set, so I kind of like the vibe to it, especially with all the Celtic influences. As for the actual stats of the armor set, the armor itself increases attack after each kill up to three times. That is a pretty good effect. However, usually when I'm in a fight, when I've killed three enemies, pretty much most people are dead unless I'm in a siege battle, in which case obviously this armor set is even better. Now the attack boost itself is considerable enough for it to be actually worth getting in that sense. You do need three pieces of the armor set for that effect to actually do anything though. Once you have the full armor set equipped, it gives a small amount of life after three kills. Now I assume that means every three kills. Personally I think that's not even very good. I'm playing the game on the hardest difficulty right now and it's just not a challenge. So to me, just having a little bit of extra life being given back, there are already weapons in the game that do that, so I don't rate that ability at all. Um, now, obviously, we have the horse. Looks pretty cool. It's got some arrows in its side, which I actually kind of like. And the raven, which is kind of this dead-looking red raven. Very nice, too. But the most important things here are the two weapons. It's kind of odd. It's a two-handed axe and a shield. So obviously, unless you have the ability that lets you equip a two-handed weapon in one hand, it kind of doesn't make too much sense to me. But the two-handed dwarven axe increases speed after each kill up to three times. Essentially, after you stack those three kills, especially in big battles, you're going to be doing ridiculous damage per second with this weapon. It makes it the highest DPS two-handed weapon in the game right now. So if you see this in the store, I would literally just get the two-handed axe because it's pretty damn awesome and then just increase the attack damage as well with runes and you're going to be doing the most damage per second you can get of any two-handed axe in the game. So that's pretty damn nice. So then finally we have Helgi's shield which is honestly not really that great. Increases heavy damage when blocking. So obviously it makes your heavy attacks with the axe hit harder or if you have a hammer equipped that would also be quite nice I guess. But it's just not really a notable sort of shield weapon. So I would just leave this one. In fact, the only thing, unless I, you really like the aesthetic of this armor set, that's really valuable to me is the Dwarven Axe. That's something that can really fit into a nice build. And I recommend if you kind of want a high DPS axe that's two-handed, then I would actually grab that. So guys, that is pretty much it for my review of this weapon set. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, what kind of items you think are the best, which things you'll be buying, if you'll be spending money and so on. And I will see you guys in the next video. And if you want me to keep up like this series of reviewing what's in the store, letting you know how good it is, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.